in the words of Robert Greene, always say less than necessary. Let's delve into the heart of the third law from his renowned book, 48 Laws of Power, which is Conceal Your Intentions. This law is a game of shadows and silhouettes, a strategic exercise in discretion and cunning. When you reveal too much, you lay your cards bare for all to see, giving others the chance to predict, manipulate, and counter your every move. By contrast, when you master the art of concealment, you create an air of mystery, a veil of the unknown. This shroud of unpredictability becomes your shield, your armor in the battleground of power dynamics. It's not about dishonesty, but rather strategic revelation. It's about understanding that power often lies not in what is seen, but in what is hidden. So as we journey through this exploration of power, remember the most powerful weapon in your arsenal is the unknown. Now, let us delve deeper into the essence of this law. At its core, the third law of power, as posited by Robert Greene, is all about strategic concealment. Now, this shouldn't be mistaken for dishonesty or deception. Rather, it's about holding your cards close to your chest, revealing only what you want others to see. Imagine a game of poker. The power doesn't lie in the cards you're dealt, but in how you play them. The best poker player isn't the one with the best hand. It's the one who knows how to bluff, how to read other players and when to show their cards. This concept isn't new. Throughout history, we find countless examples of people who use this law to their advantage. Military strategists, political leaders, and even artists have employed strategic concealment to achieve their goals. Consider the ancient Chinese military strategist Sun Tzu. His philosophy, as laid out in The Art of War, is a masterclass in strategic concealment. He advised generals to appear weak when they are strong, and strong when they are weak. By doing so, they could control the narrative, keeping their enemies off balance and uncertain. Or take the famous Italian politician and philosopher, Niccolo Machiavelli. His cunning and shrewdness were legendary. He knew the power of keeping his intentions hidden, of showing a facade to the world while working relentlessly towards his goals behind the scenes. These historical figures understood the essence of the third law, the power of concealment. They knew that in order to achieve their objectives, they needed to control the information others had about them. They needed to be unpredictable to keep others guessing. This isn't about lying or deceiving, it's about controlling the narrative, about deciding what others see and what they don't. It's about using information as a tool, as a weapon. Strategic concealment allows you to maintain control, to steer the course of events in your favor. It's a potent strategy, one that can tip the scales in your favor in any situation, be it in business, politics, or personal relationships. As Green suggests, the power to hold one's cards close to the chest is a formidable strategy. How, you might wonder, does this law apply to everyday life? Well, the practical implications of this law are far-reaching, permeating every aspect of our existence, from the boardroom to the living room. Consider the world of business, where negotiations and strategies dominate. Imagine entering a negotiation armed with the power of concealment. By holding your cards close to your chest, you maintain an element of unpredictability, keeping the other party on their toes and tilting the scales in your favor. Or let's delve into the sphere of politics. In this arena, the less your opponents know about your plans, the more you control the narrative. The ability to surprise can often be the difference between victory and defeat. Even in personal relationships, this law holds value. Imagine a budding romance. There's a certain allure to mystery, isn't there? By not revealing everything about yourself all at once, you cultivate a sense of intrigue, of depth, making you more appealing to the other person. But remember, the power of concealment isn't about dishonesty or deception. It's about strategy and control. It's about choosing what to reveal, when to reveal it, and to whom. It's about understanding that information is power and how you manage that power can determine your success or failure in any venture. In the game of power, the less they know, the more you control. In conclusion, let us revisit the key points discussed. The third law from Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power emphasizes the art of concealment. It teaches us to guard our intentions, thereby gaining a strategic upper hand in power dynamics. By limiting what we reveal, we retain control and cultivate an aura of mystery, enhancing our power. As we part, remember Greene's words, the more you say, the more common you appear, 
and the less in control. Be mysterious, be powerful, 